It is Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's tip is a smart home tip. Let's talk about smart switches and why you should consider using them. Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. If you wanna get more out of your tech, you are in the right place. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the next Tech Tip Tuesday. Tip. Tech Tip Tuesday. Yeah, words are hard. This series is about tips that hopefully help you. Let me help you with your smart home. In the smart home space, there's talk about Google or Alexa, which smart bulbs to buy, which doorbell, what smart plugs, and which cameras. What is missing a lot of the time is talk about smart switches. I'm feeling passionate about them right now. These are one of the best things to add to your house if you want a smart home yet no one's talking about them. Not anymore. Let's talk about the types of switches, what to consider, and why to choose them over bulbs. So when it comes to switches, there are a few different types. In the description are some smart switches from brands I'm using now and that I would personally get. Check them out if you need some ideas of what to buy. First, you have a basic on and off switch that costs around $15 to $30. Here's a four pack from GoSun that has great ratings. So far, I've used some of their smart plugs and I've been really happy with them. With the basic on and off switches, they're not going to dim. If you want dimming, you'll want a smart dimmer. A smart dimmer switch will cost you between $20 and $40. Here are the TP-Link dimmers that I'm using in my kitchen. I've been happy with them. They've worked consistently with no Wi-Fi dropouts. Every time I've tried to use my voice with them, they've always worked. When I push the button like a switch, it always works, so no complaints. Now, another type would be a three-way switch like this for places where you have two switches controlling the same light. Three-way switches tend to range between $30 and $50. I'm currently using the Wemo three-way switch and I've been happy with it so far. It's been working great with Siri and Alexa. I have it set on a routine and it's never missed um, any time it's been told to turn on or off. The other three-way I'd consider is a TP-Link three-way. Here's a two-pack that could actually take care of two different sets of three-way lights. Like this one, you only need to replace one of the two current switches with a three-way smart switch. So in my case, I replaced the switch that was at the bottom of my stairs with this Wemo three-way. And no matter what position the switch is at the top of the stairs, I still have voice and app control. Now some things to consider with smart switches. First, do you feel comfortable installing them yourself? I've found that directions have been good with the switches that I've used so far, but I feel comfortable personally installing them and have some knowledge about working with power. For others, electricity may be scary and something you don't want to mess with. If that is the case, you might want to hire someone to do it for you. To have someone install a switch is probably going to be relatively inexpensive, especially if you were to replace multiple switches or all of your switches at the same time. You get an electrician in there that knows what they're doing, they're just going to knock them out. That is one thing I've learned in the past five years. Sometimes it's good to throw a little money at it to have a professional get things done. It may sound expensive and like a huge task until you factor in the upgrade you're receiving by bringing in a pro to do the project that most likely you'll never get around to doing. But if you decide to do it yourself, just remember, turn off the breaker and confirm it's off by testing the light to see that it's off. Another thing to consider is most smart switches do need a neutral wire and a ground. They do sell ones that don't need a neutral wire. This company in a valley is selling smart switches and dimmers that do not need a neutral, but they need a hub. Next, think about Wi-Fi or hub switches. Wi-Fi I found is the easiest to set up to join your network and doesn't require an additional hub, but some people prefer the option and features with some of the switches that need hubs. Some say the hub pulls the load off of your Wi-Fi network. Personally, I'd rather just create a better Wi-Fi network, but I have heard Great things about the Lutron Cassetta switches. I put a starter kit down below if you want to check that out. Last, think about which assistant you want the switch to work with. My TP-Link switches work with Google and Alexa, but no Apple HomeKit. That's the reason why I went with the Wemo 3-way kit. I wanted to be able to use it with HomeKit and tie it into a HomeKit routine that I already have running. I may switch out my kitchen dimmers for the Wemo dimmers that have Alexa built in. Wemo works with Google, Alexa, and HomeKit. That gives me the flexibility if I want to use any assistant now or change assistants in the future. Just something to think about. Now let's talk about why you would go with smart switches. Why not just use smart bulbs? 
simple answer is that smart switches are just easier a lot of time. With your smart bulbs, you get your routine going where the lights come up at a certain time, turn on when you walk in the room, or you use your voice to turn them on or off. Then someone flips the switch and they are worthless. No power to a smart bulb, no control or coolness. That doesn't happen with the smart switch. You get all your awesome routines, you use your voice, or you could just walk in the room and flip a switch. Here's a scientific study comparing using your voice with smart bulbs to a physical button. You might be surprised by the results. Oh, look, the light's on. Switches are faster, who would have thought? Switches are also perfect for the non-tech savvy. I'm sure you know someone, maybe even a significant other that's annoyed by the smart devices you already have. Now they don't have to be annoyed. They get their old school dumb switch, you get your smart switch, best of both worlds. You also don't have to have your family or friends download an app or know the name of your lights to just turn them on. Smart switches are also great for joining up multiple switches with your assistant. In my kitchen, I have a switch put in the worst spot to the point I never would use those two lights. Now that I have a smart switch, I paired them in a group with my main kitchen lights. Boom, I'm all set. If I want those lights turned on and my main kitchen lights on, I just say turn on kitchen lights. If I want the horribly placed switch lights turned on, I say turn on countertop lights. Another great use for smart switches is for automation. Whether it's scheduling them to come on, triggering them with motion sensors, or using routines. Let's take my stair lights. I want them on when it gets dark or light in the entryway and on the stairs. We also leave those stair lights on at night for some light for our daughters to walk past the stairs if they go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. But no one in my family ever remembers to turn the stair lights off in the morning. With my smart switch, those lights go on at sunset and turn off at 8 a.m. No more leaving the lights on. I win, we save electricity. Although I probably spent any savings on this, but I digress. Since installing the three-way, I never think about those lights. Next, I'm putting a three-way in my hall so when we open the garage after dark, it'll turn on those lights using a motion sensor. Smart switches are also great for routines that can be triggered to turn them on or off. Let's say you're leaving the house. You start to walk out the door. You have a routine that turns on your cameras that are on a smart plug. Tip from last week's video, check it out. Then it turns off any media devices, turns off lights and the smart switches that you don't want left on, and turns on the couple of lights you like to leave on just for safety. All that written in one routine. You put switches in all the rooms, you can walk out and shut the whole house off as you walk out the door. Smart switches and dimmers are great to have around for just setting different scenes in the house. It's kind of cool to be able to just say, watch a movie and all the lights either dim or turn off and you don't need smart bulbs to do it. When it comes to price, smart switches can be the same, if not cheaper than buying multiple smart bulbs. Let's say in the kitchen, you're gonna put in smart bulbs for 10 to $15 a piece. You could put in a smart switch or dimmer for 20 to $40 and save yourself some money. In some cases, it may be a little more expensive if you only have a couple of bulbs, but what good is a smart bulb if it's plugged into a switch that can be turned off? Another nice thing about smart switches is they can also be great for fixtures that have specialty bulbs or bulbs that can't be changed. In my hall, the light has LED strips that can't be removed. It's great, you can make any light a smart light with the switch. Overall, I think smart switches can add a lot of value. I think they're underrated and people don't think about them enough. My goal over the next month is to change every switch in my house to a smart switch. Are you using smart switches in your house? If not, you're thinking about how you could use them now, right? Next, make sure to check out this video over here for some other tips. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.